Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. Today's episode hosted by Little Box. Oh, hello there. Welcome to the Newgrounds Podcast. My name is Little Box, and I am here today with an array of guests. Uh, introduce yourselves one by one, starting with you. Which is the you you're talking to? Any, any, anyone. You. You. I'm talking to you. Welcome uh, to my- the Dom and Fro Show. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, none of that. Wrong <laughs> hey, I'm Fro. I am Corey LeVere, also voices by Corey. I'm Viva. Viva Becker. Hi. Hi. Hi, little box. Hey there, you sexy mamas. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Thanks Why, for having thank us. You. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I guess a general question to start us off before we get too specific here. So what brought you guys to Newgrounds.com? Uh, so back in 2004, I signed up in 2004 because my buddy was showing me some old Resident Evil animations and... That's it. That's all I remember. I had to dial up. So, you know, I had to sneak down in the middle of the night just to watch two episodes of some flash because it took 30 minutes to load. And yeah, I just started there reviewing old stuff and I stuck. That's beautiful. Now let's go Thanks. with other Corey. Hey, <laughs> so I have been perusing on Newgrounds literally since 2002. I remember going back on it in middle school, just wanting to watch videos and uh, we would go to the library in the morning, my friends and I, and we would hop on the computers and just watch animations and, uh, and play games on Newgrounds. Uh, signed up for an account on 08 and then started uh, uploading content in 2014 uh, for my voice acting stuff. Took a break for a while, but then uh, started uploading again in, in 2019. And here we are now. All right. Well, welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah. I've always loved Newgrounds. It's always been, it's always hold, held a... Nice little place in my heart. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's truly (laughs) just amazing. Just, it's like a little rose growing out of your heart. It just, it just, it blossomed out of pure love. I can't quit you, Tom Fulp. (laughs) It's a drug. (laughs) It's a drug that you cannot quit. You can't, you think you can stop, but it's like an abusive relationship, you know? You just, you want to leave, but you just keep coming back for more. God You'll damn! Never you just find anyone up. better. You just blam me over and over again, blam after blam, and I still come back. <laughs> I love you, Tom. Please don't delete me. <laughs> All right, and animal speak. How did you obtain a new grounds account? Um. Well, I started doing some work for a great collaboration that's coming out very soon of um, different new grounds talents. Which we will actors. be talking about, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Very exciting, and um, I signed up for a Newgrounds account after joining that, and I think that everyone else should and check it out, because it's going to be pretty pretty sweet. I see. So Damn you right. joined the Newgrounds collab <laughs> before you had a Newgrounds account. Um, Don't um, tell them the secret. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll we'll get into that. We'll get into that. But now, uh, before before we talk about the collab and and your your all's uh, highly acclaimed voice acting careers, I want to talk to each of you individually. Okay, so let's start with Corey number one. Voices by Corey. Oh, hey, hey! You, 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 you hear that? You hear that, Fro? I'm Corey number that. one. I'm pretty disappointed. I heard that. You're Corey number one, and Fro, you're Corey number A. So don't feel so bad. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corey, number one. So I found out about you through Groundsbreaking. How did you get onto Groundsbreaking? Well, thanks to our good buddy Zin Zinix. Uh, good old. Is that how you say old, his name? Zin 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 Zin. It's, Zin no, it's Kazinx Kazinx. <laughs> Kazinx. Kazinx. He's trying to tell people this, and no one believes me. <laughs> Well, well, good old Zinn, uh, he posted on the voice acting forums saying, hey, uh, I got a project going on looking for voice actors. Uh, if you're interested, hit me up. So that's all I really did. I hit him up and I said, hey, man, um, I would love to join your project if you'll have me. He goes, cool, what can you do? I'm like, 
voices. <laughs> and uh, he goes, well, what, what voices can you do? I'm like, well, well, this is what I can do. I got a pretty decent range. I can do a bunch of different accents. He goes, oh, cool. What accents can you do? I said, well, named off all the the accents I can do. I sent him a couple of uh, works where I, I, I did one recently where I did a French accent and I sent that over to him. He's like, oh, wow, that was really good. Yeah, you're aboard. I'm like, cool. And uh, the first project... Uh, or the first skit I did on that, I just literally did my normal voice. I didn't even have to do my French accent. So it, it was it was funny that uh, he wanted me to do that instead of the French accent. But hey, I'm glad to be on <laughs> board. Ground's breaking because it's a great project. The, the first episode had a lot of success and showcased a lot of awesome talent that we have on Newgrounds. So I'm, I'm actually you, really, you, really you stoked don't have, to be a part of it. You don't have it. to lie about it here. We 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 all know how much of a failure it was, and and how how much horrible it is compared to the New Grounds podcast. So don't, don't there's no I'm need trying, to. I'm trying. You don't. Yeah. I'm trying to plug it, little box. Stop. <laughs> hey, <laughs> trying, <laughs> trying to get in depth here. No, no, seriously. So I mean, how <laughs> how uh, I mean, how how do you enjoy being on Grounds Breaking and collaborating with people to collaborate with? You know, it. I've really enjoyed it because uh, outside of Grounds Breaking, I was kind of just like my own individual self uploading stuff on uh, Newgrounds whenever I had the chance to and just trying to get on any project I possibly could just to showcase what I can do. And getting the opportunity to be a part of episode one was really cool because I got to meet a lot of uh, great Newgrounds users who I consider my friends now. And I talk to them pretty much all the time. Um, it, it's been a, a great little uh, project to be part of. And we got some good stuff going for episode two right now. And, you know, the sky's the limit, and Zinn has a really beautiful mind, and he has, like, the work ethic of, I guess you could say, like, a racehorse. He's always pushing himself to be the best he could possibly be, and he wants to put the best content out there at all times, and you can really tell. He's he's purchasing good scripts. He's uh, commissioning music, uh, putting together good interviews. Um, you know, the guy really cares about the project, and it's good— and it's really cool to be a part of a project where you know the person cares about what's you know being put into it. So I, I feel really blessed to be a part of the Grounds Breaking crew, and I'm looking forward to episode two. Very nice, very nice. Now yeah. I want to ask a couple more a per, more personal questions, more to you, Corey. It seems like you have a tendency toward the sport of baseball. You played uh, you played baseball for your alma mater, U, U University of San Diego. You're a social media coordinator for the LA Angels, and I was wondering, yeah. I mean, like. Like what? What was your uh, your relation with baseball? Then I learned both your parents um, were or are softball coaches, aren't they? They are. Yeah. So um, I played baseball all the way up until I was about twenty three years old. Uh, played ball wow. for uh, USD, a uh, University of San Diego, um, uh, up until two thousand and twelve. Uh, went on and played professional for a little bit. Nothing too extravagant. I only played for like a couple months, <laughs> but uh, um, I got. W- two paychecks to play baseball. And that was one of the most gratifying things in my entire career. I, I got paid to play baseball. So that was really cool. But uh, yeah, that's, it's always been a part of my life. And, you know, I still follow it to this day. Um, after my baseball career was done, I went back to school and got a uh, my master's degree in sports management and it helped me land a, a role with uh, the Angels. I worked with them for three years, two years in their media relations department and one year in their social media department and it was probably one of the cooler moments of my life just being around that that atmosphere and that you know being more in depth to a game that I grew up around and have loved tremendously and it was with my all-time favorite team so it it, it was really cool um I got to interact with the players the coaches met some really cool people working there too um it sucks that it, you know I don't have the opportunity to work there anymore um they actually have one of the smaller front offices in all of Major League Baseball. So they like to keep it nice and compact. And when the time came, they said, yeah, we're going to uh, clear a house. And <laughs> you're one of the people who gets cleared. So I was like, oh, oh no. no. Ah. But you know what? It, it's okay because um, it actually gave me more time to focus on my voice acting career, which I'm actually very thankful for. Uh, it, it did take up a lot of my time, and that was one of the reasons why I stopped voice acting for a couple of years, but yeah, once once I got the time to pick this up again, it was full steam ahead. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. so it sounds like 
your job was kind of like the next best thing to being an athlete for the team. Yeah, pretty much. Like I knew if I couldn't fulfill that dream of playing Major League Baseball, I definitely wanted to work in Major League Baseball and having the opportunity to work with my favorite team was really cool. Awesome. I'm yeah. glad to hear that. Yeah. It, it's it's a nice little uh nice little moment in my life that I'll definitely cherish for sure. Very nice. There's another moment in your life I'm very curious about. What was it like to meet Kevin Smith? Oh my god. So that was easily one of the most surreal moments of my life. So I was actually flown out to New York uh, for uh, this in regards to my third year with the Angels, I was actually an employee for Major League Baseball and I was assigned to work as a social media representative for the Angels through Major League Baseball. It's really confusing, but um, I got flown out to New York uh, for training. And uh, one night after uh, being in the offices of, of MLB, I'm in my hotel room and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. So I go down to the lobby. It's already closed. I'm like, well, that's great. But there's a little um, like quick mark right across the street. I go over. Very and, appropriate. Yeah, exactly. And I walk in and there's a guy standing at the counter wearing a long trench coat with a backwards cap, long hair and everything. Or not, he didn't have his long hair, but, you know, long trench coat, backwards hat. I'm like, beard too. I'm like, this guy is trying so hard to look like Kevin Smith. <laughs> <laughs> so... I, I walk in, um, I, I grab a sandwich, um, a water, uh, some chips, and a slice of cheesecake. And as I'm walking Very towards- combo. The, yeah. I walk towards the counter. The guy turns around, and it's Kevin Smith staring at me in the face. And I just stop in my tracks. I'm like, oh my God, that really is Kevin Smith. And he, he totally <laughs> knew that I recognized who he was. And he smiles at me. He goes, hey, man, how you doing? I'm like- <laughs> oh, Kevin, Kevin Smith. <laughs> and uh, it, it was really cool. He actually chatted for me, chatted to me. Uh, he chatted with me for like a good 10 minutes. It was really cool. Uh, like uh, I, I've been a part of two podcasts, um, you know, when I was starting out the whole voice acting voiceover career, um, I, I did a couple uh, sports podcasts with my buddies. And um, I told him like one of the things that he's always talked about in, in his podcast is, you know, if you want, if you have an idea for a podcast, go do it. Who cares what people say? As long as you go out and you do something that's that, that you want to do and have fun with it with your friends, just do it. So I ch chatted with him for like, about 10 minutes with that. And I told him that he's always been a huge influence in my life. And yeah, it, that was one of the most surreal moments of my life. It was I'm like, dude, can, can I get a, a, a picture with you? He goes, absolutely, man. He was, <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> it was, it was, and it was just so random. And it was like right after, uh, like a couple weeks after he had his heart attack too. So I'm like, dude, like, Oh how, yeah. How you, that, yeah. yeah. Like, how are you feeling? Like, like, is, are you feeling better? He goes, he goes, man, it was so scary, but I'm feeling like 100% better. I'm like, good man. Cause it would have been so, it would have been so sad to see you leave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that was that was surreal reading on my phone. Oh, Kevin Smith had a heart attack. I was like, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, poor oh, guy. Wow. Yeah, that's 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 a very nice. That's basically like the copy pasta where you insert a celebrity's name where you run into them in the grocery store. Except this one was actually good. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Smith wasn't <laughs> was really at the cashier. <laughs> It, it was funny. He was just—he like was just being Kevin Smith and and chatting up with the the clerk, which you know, so ironic. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. I'm glad I'm glad to hear that. That made my day. So thank you, Corey. Oh, of course. All right. Now on to Corey number A. Great. That's going to be hard to follow. Oh, no. I, I think I think there's some interesting stuff. So, I mean, to connect with the sports, you played varsity football for your high school, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you have a, a tendency towards football? Yeah. So I kind of have a similar story. I played throughout high school and then played a couple months professional and then got injured and that was the end of that. So very similar story. Um, and I knew I always wanted to get back into it and I finally got a coaching job recently. So I'm slowly getting back into the sports. Oh, nice. So that's your plan. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I'm glad to hear. Um, so you're, cause you're from Pennsylvania originally. Yes. Um, so I'm curious cause you went to, how did you, so you went to UC Santa Cruz to learn about, was it urban sociology and education? How, how did you get into that? So from that's not football into that. So I I went to a college in Pennsylvania. 
Um, my spouse is actually a grad student here. So okay. we moved across country to for her to get her doctorates. And I actually okay, work gotcha. for the university. So, yeah. Very nice. Gotcha. Any other fun facts about you that we should know? Well, <laughs> <laughs> like I said, I'm not as interesting as Corey number one. Um, <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Don't hold yourself back. <laughs> yeah, talk about talk about um the Dom and Fro show bit. Yeah, sure. Um, so I've always wanted to make like YouTube style videos, but I just really sucked at it. <laughs> the ideas were always really good, like they were funny inside of our heads, but once they got to the screen, they were just terrible. We didn't have the equipment. We weren't going to spend money on the equipment. Uh, we're terrible actors in the first place. <laughs> so everything just looked amazing on paper. Like, oh, this is so funny. And then we'd get it to the screen and nobody watched it. Like my mom watched it. That was it. She watches everything I do. <laughs> so that's kind of how I got here is because I do have good ideas, or at least I think I do. So I got <laughs> brought on to the voice acting club as a as a writer. So just to see yeah. someone else be able to bring my ideas to life is just as satisfying as me not being able to do it myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. so, I mean, so how did you transition to, I guess, want to be YouTuber to the, the podcast format that you guys are doing now? So I guess the transition was, if we can't make it happen ourselves, at least we can talk about the funny ideas. And we had, you know, a lot of funny situations that we've been through. So we're like, if we can't make it, at least we can talk about it. And hell, maybe somebody will make it someday. Very nice. And it seems to work well for you guys so far. Yeah, so far we, we've we had, you know, we've uh, interviewed Jeff Golt from, he was the pre-animation animator for Cyanide and Happiness. He's on Newgrounds as Phobotech. And oh, very nice. Soon we're going to interview Aaron Long. I heard that. Yeah. Congratulations. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's going to be, that's exciting. Heck yeah. Oh, you guys, you guys will have a fun time with him. Yeah. All right. And last but not least, we have the only not Corey in this room other than me. <laughs> and we'll speak. All right. Let's see what Dirty Hi. dug up about me. I have absolutely <laughs> nothing about you. I know I, know I don't know a single thing about you. Can you introduce Mysterious. yourself to me? Because I don't, I don't, I, I, lo I look up your Newgrounds account and mm -hmm. you joined... <laughs> Literally weeks ago, yeah. June seventh, twenty twenty. You're probably the newest new ground user to be a guest on this show. Yeah. So I've got nothing. You've got a clean slate here. You can <laughs> you can you can say that you you fought the war in Iraq, and I'd believe you. Okay. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, uh, I fought the war in Iraq. <laughs> I suspect it. I suspect it. Um. I've been doing voiceover for about seven years um i've gotten to do a lot of really fun things um over that time i'm currently trying to make it i guess to another level la okay. that's my dream i'm very far away from there right now but i'm working on it and uh i made i've made one audio drama before that i was All right. responsible for so i guess that's interesting please listen to it like fro said nobody nobody listened to it except for my mom so <laughs> <laughs> my mom will yeah, listen so. to it <laughs> my mom will too yeah put put a link in the uh, the live chat so people can check it out at least your but, um, parents are supportive <laughs> i support you all the time <laughs> oh yeah yeah I'm, I'm sorry yeah viva is actually my dad yeah oh yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> If you're wondering how I got connected like to the uh, to the collab, my it's son. an a fam it's a family affair. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you're all actually cousins. <laughs> but um, actually, that that, that kind of ties in well with a, a question I have for all you guys. So I guess what what um because obviously you guys all have aspirations, and it seems like Viva's idea is, is making it to LA and doing voice acting. So I guess for the Corys, what, what, where do you hope this will all lead to? Well, Corey number I, one, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead. Um, I definitely want to, um, I definitely want my career to take off. Um, you know, a lot of voice actors have the dream of, you know, being on a big time 
a cartoon or working in video games or being in an animated movie. And, you know, that's kind of like the same aspirations I have. You know, I, I'm having a great time um, lending my voice to a bunch of really fun and awesome projects. Um, and I'm looking forward to what the future holds for some of the, the projects I am working on right now. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see my career um, blossom into a very successful cartoon um, just get my foot in the door of, of working with the studio and, you know, making a lifelong career out of voice acting. You know, it's it's a talent that I picked up pretty late in my life, even though I've been doing silly voices for the majority of <laughs> my life. Um, you know, you, I always had the friends saying, oh, you, you, you should you should do that for a living. You're, you're really good. I'm like, oh, thanks, but I'm really not. And then when, you, you know, you actually make that, you take that leap and you actually try and you see you're getting onto projects and people actually like what you do and it encourages you, it encourages at least me more to, you know, really pursue it and, you know, achieve goals that I have set out for myself. So, yeah, I, I guess it would ultimately be, you know, get a part of a very successful cartoon and get my foot in the door and, you know, just keep that career growing and I guess get an IMDB page, <laughs> if anything. I have an there IMDB page. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have one. Where are you, where are you, where are you at, Corey? <laughs> Actually, wait, no, don't you I... have an IMDB page? I'm pretty sure I saw you had one in my, in my many, many weeks of research for this episode. I have an IMDB page and I didn't know about it? I'm pretty sure it was like for some weird obscure um, cartoon. I'm gonna I'm gonna find it right now. But while oh, all that while I do that, Corey number A, what what are your thoughts on making it, quote unquote? So I don't have any goals like that, but I my goal is just to get my stories and stuff seen by the public somehow. I don't care if I make money off of it. I don't care if it becomes a career. So if Corey number one becomes famous someday. Hopefully he says, hey, I got a buddy who can write some pretty fun, funny scripts. And he gives me a message if he's not too rich to still talk to me at that point. Hint, hint, not <laughs> <laughs> Hey, if you guys are a fan of Corey's, well, guess what? I know another Corey who's just <laughs> as talented as I am. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't know. My, my dream as a writer is to get people to read what I wrote, whether it's a big hit. If it makes a couple people laugh, like that's that's all I'm looking for. Um, I'm completely content retiring in the next ten years and being a stay stay at home dad. So, no big all dreams right. for me. All right, Except fair for enough. Coaching high school football. That's that's it. That's that's a good dream. That's a good dream. Yeah, uh, Corey number one. Yeah, you do have an IMDb. I'm gonna let me link it here. What? Yeah, I'm no way. You. you made it. Oh no you did it. way! You did it. You made it into the big time. Oh my god, I, I feel <laughs> so special. <laughs> no, that's actually really cool because I had no idea. I, I had yeah. no idea that I had an IMDb page. Oh wait, you can and edit the page. The, huh? I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna create a new account. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an account. And I'm gonna edit this page. I'm gonna add your own personal biography. <laughs> You know, I, 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 got, I, I got to give a shout out, though, to Blue Gamer 22, uh, the creator of Tempo's Trouble, because um, he apparently credited me for Tempo's Trouble. So thanks. Thank you so much. dude. I really appreciate that. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right. Very nice. So um, I, I guess we're, we're talking about like you guys and how where, where you are now, and where you hope to be. I guess my question is, how, how did you get to this point? How did you what was the turning point that made you decide you want to be a writer or a voice actor? I actually talk, not plugging my own podcast. Um, in the last one yep. I just recorded on Wednesday, I kind of talk a lot about that. Um, okay. I had a good buddy of mine, and we started videos just like uh, the Dom and Fro show did. I just replaced people. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's not me that's the problem. It's always them, right? Um, <laughs> and he had showed me a script that he wrote. And I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. We're talking back like 10th or 11th grade. And ever since then, that's just what I was trying to do. I was like, I just want to write something. So that was, that's where I started. It was my good friend who we were just making stupid videos together. And he inspired me to keep on going with it. Heck yeah. Well, I've always been like this. All right. To the point. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, Corey, you can go now. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did anybody in high school have that thing where they forced you to um, like learn poetry and then you had to say it in front of your class and it was like a competition? Not competition, but I definitely had to write poetry and read in front of the class. So I'm with you on Wait, that. Wait, you guys had like had like high school poetry slams? It wasn't a. It wasn't. You didn't write it, and it was like um, good poetry. So I wouldn't know. I don't know. Oh, poetry slam. Oh, okay, okay. Corey, so yeah, definitely was a poetry one. slam. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we had a. There, there is a nationwide poetry competition for high school students. And it starts in your classroom, then it goes to your school, and then region and all that kind of thing. And um, I won enough levels of that to go to the state level. And, um, I mean, before that, I like to read things dramatically, but um, I didn't really think that it would be... It was enough of a vocation to kind of pursue it. It it kind of seemed more like a hobby. Um... But after I won that, I was like, oh, I guess I, it's, it's pretty fun. I'm pretty good at it. I could probably make at least $50, so I should try. <laughs> and that's a lot. Here you go. If we rewind a little bit, she actually reminded me of why I continued to make um, movies and skits, though. There was a video competition uh, that we submitted a video to. It was the Rod Sterling video competition. Uh and our video won best comedy and it got shown on live tv we were brought up on stage and given awards and stuff so that that was my make it moment and then it was all downhill from there but (laughs) always trying to chase that moment again where i wrote something or did something really funny and you know people got to see it so yeah i forgot all about that was that for the was that for the pretenders no it was uh so the movie was called rock and it was just about a rock and a couple guys like hanging out with the rock like it was a regular person. And I have no clue why it was so <laughs> funny, but people loved it for some reason and like kept telling us that we need to add on to it. And we did and send it into this competition. And it apparently was funny. That's the best kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you can say for me, like in the turning point, um, like I said, I started uh, my voice acting career in 2014 um, it was actually really cool. One of the first things I auditioned for was a mod on uh the computer military game Arma Three. If you guys have heard of it, um, and the mod was submitted into a competition that was held by the creators of the game, um, and our submission won the uh like the big competition. So that was really cool, and being a part of that was really cool. They gave me um, a lead role in that uh, in that mod, like for the last three main missions. I initially got cast as a small one offline, but the director is like, "Dude, I actually like your voice a lot. I want to give you a bigger role. Can you do um, a Greek accent?" I'm like, "I have no idea what a Greek accent sounds like." So I, I just looked up on YouTube, and there's literally, literally one video of people doing greek accents so i put one together and it wasn't really all that good and i'm not is that russian are you doing russian right now it's it's not yeah like i said it's it's not good because i haven't done it (laughs) forever (laughs) pretty much since then but uh i sent in the uh the audition and he's like dude that's spot on he goes yeah you got the role um and that was really cool like that encouraged me to you know keep pursuing this and then big boy job um pushed that aside and then coming back to voice acting pretty much like almost a year ago to the day. I auditioned for a couple projects, got put on um, put on some right away. Um, I got cast uh, for the lead role in an audio drama that I've been posting on Newgrounds for a while now. It's called In the Shadow of the Valley. If you guys want to check that out, we have, I think, 14 chapters released right now, and there's a total of 30. So we're nearly halfway through the, the story. And getting cast in that kind of just you know encouraged me to keep going. Um, and since then I've been part of a lot of really cool, cool projects and being hungry for that next one and just wanting to get on a new project and try a new voice and a new style and push myself to be a a better voice actor. I guess that would be one of the main turning points, just wanting to get better. And that brings me to the Newgrounds voice acting collab. Hey, Hey, pretend I'm somebody who 
does doesn't even know what this is. Pretend I'm somebody who was thrown into the server because I, I I'm here to interview you guys, and that I didn't really <laughs> look into the server that much before interviewing you guys, and that I'm really not all that sure what the heck it is, and I'm kind of rambling on as I'm coming up with a question to ask. So, what is the Newgrounds voice acting collab? So, um, one day, uh, I think it was after we had the the pet jam, um. I just had an idea pop in my head one day. Um, like I have never seen a voice actor collaboration on Newgrounds. And if there has been, that's just my fault for not noticing it. And uh, But the idea just popped in my head and I thought, why don't we do something like that? Why don't we, you know, why don't we just gather up a bunch of Newgrounds voice actors, put a bunch of skits together, and let them showcase what they can do? Um, you know... To me, Newgrounds has always been one of the best places to start your career and, you know, show a bunch of uh, supportive individuals what you can do and your talents and get some good uh, constructive feedback. You know, it's a good stepping stone for, you know, any content creator, as we've seen with, you know, previous successes from the site. So I I just felt it would be a good outlet to um, put this collaboration together and just have voice actors do what they love doing you know make silly voices work on accents and just show how talented they are so um yeah that that's re- really why i wanted to do this is just give people the the opportunity to show what they can do and do something that they really love and you know it's also given um you know a couple people opportunities to showcase their writing styles um and we've had a few composers uh reach out to us and um they're providing music for a couple of the skits, which has been really cool. Um, you know, right now we have about 25 voice actors in this collaboration. And I think we have 20 skits uh, wow. pretty much planned out. It's going to be a pretty long collaboration, but so far from what we have pieced together, the collab, uh, the, the skits are, in my opinion, really good. Uh, they're, they're funny. You know, it's a, it's an array of comedy like drama, horror, um, more so comedy, <laughs> but you know, You're um, welcome. yeah, <laughs> Fro, Fro has been the big supplier of, uh, of comedy skits, but you know, it, it's, it's been really cool. Um, and I, I've been testing my hand in writing with this and also working on, uh, mixing, uh, the skits and that's been really cool, especially putting the, the skits together. Um, I finished one of the first passes for one of our dramatic skits last night. And as I was listening to it after completing it, uh, I'm not going to lie, I got a little uh, teary-eyed. <laughs> Mainly because of how the, the drama of the story pans out and just feeling um, very blessed that I have a, a bunch of cool, very talented, uh, fantastic voice actors a part of this collaboration. Like The support has been really cool. And I'm glad that and people actually was, wanted to be what. And because it was two thirty in the morning, right? That that too. I, I was a little <laughs> sleep deprived, so I was going a little crazy. But it, it's I'm so thankful that people have been showing support um, for this collaboration and actually want to be a part of it. Fantastic. So, uh, Corey A and Viva. So, what is it? in particular that you guys are working on without giving any spoilers like what is it that you're you're contributing i do a lot of children okay (laughs) voices (laughs) i would say rephrase (laughs) that (laughs) expose (laughs) i'm chris hansen (laughs) i'm chris hansen why don't you take a seat and corey yeah yeah um i kind of touched on it a little bit but basically I found the thread that Corey had made for the collab and had a couple scripts that I thought would be really good as audio files. They were things that either had been made into movies already or were ideas for movies that I was never going to complete. So at first I was like, "Eh, I'll just throw one in and see if they like it. So the one that I submitted which i'll talk about a little bit because it's already been submitted to new grounds is called no okay. S- no slip canes i'll link it right now um so it was an old commercial that i had made back in high school because we used to do the school's morning announcements and we just basically had free reign over what we wanted to do so to make them a little bit more exciting we did little skits for commercials so this commercial was for no slip canes which i've just linked and 
now that I was older, I was like, you know, this was kind of a funny idea, but it would be even funnier if it had more adult type humor to it and professional voice actors to do it. So I submitted this thing and that was the only thing I was going to do for the collab. And then once I heard it, it was just amazing. It was so funny. I was showing everyone that I could and they were they were just laughing about it. They loved it. So it's like, okay, yeah, I need to get my other stuff in here because these guys are going to bring life to the things that I could never bring life to. <laughs> you so, felt the rush and you needed more. Yeah. So I went back through and basically every old skit that I had that I thought was funny, I rewrote it to be more audio oriented than it was visual gags. So I... I won't go into what they are, but I wrote a skit called The Pretenders, which is one of my favorite ones. I wrote a Saw parody. There's an OnlyFans skit and a premature... <laughs> G- yeah. You guys just wait for that one. Um, <laughs> it's coming and there's soon. a... <laughs> huh. Which brings up the next one, which is the Premature Ejaculators Help Group skit that I <laughs> wrote. <laughs> and all of these, like you I know, said... I'm really excited for this collaboration. I, yeah. I really... I, th- I think it's beautiful. But yeah, so all these scripts that I could never, never complete, I just had so much fun rewriting them and listening to them be made again. It was amazing. Awesome. So I have a very important question. Diva. Yes. How did you manage to get into the Newgrounds Voice Actors Club if you hadn't had a Newgrounds account beforehand? <laughs> Let me say something about that. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've been looking at Newgrounds for mm-hmm. many years uh, before this. Millennia, one might say. Uh, yes, um, a couple. <laughs> and I am pretty sure that I did have an account. I just forgot what it was. And I I never really did much uh, actually on, on the site because um, there wasn't a lot of work that was suited. To me, on it. Gotcha. So it's more like a like a one night stand kind of thing with the account. It's a one night account. <laughs> Great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it well, I mean, we'll see. I have it, so I can always, you know, do more work on it. Yeah. But if I see something that's interesting, but I um, kind of got dragged back to the site uh, by my son because she, um, she's talking about me. <laughs> 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 we've done a number of projects together before and then um someone that we had worked that uh Corey and i had worked with told me about the the collab and so i sent a message and i said that i was interested in it i don't think at that point i knew that it was a new grounds collab also but uh cory said that i could join as long as i made a new account so <laughs> and that. thus began the origin of of your new new grounds account. Yeah, I'll add a picture. I think I added a picture, so if anyone wants to look <laughs> at it, you didn't. But that's okay. I I did right. Be- I did oh, like wait. five minutes before this. Oh, you did. Oh, just now. Okay, I see. I, a couple I just minutes ago, I added a picture. So I see. So you were telling the truth. That's okay. That's all right. I'm hitting the follow, and you now have four fans. And we'll speak, Andrews. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, that was really that was the biggest question I had for this whole episode. So, actually, no, I lied. There's an even bigger question, and this is this is it. Okay, this is the question that's going to make or break all of your careers. Okay, oh, this geez. is it. This is one of those moments that makes you. If you can't get past this, don't even don't even all your dreams kaput. Mm-mm. <laughs> don't even worry about it. Okay, Who's so are you ready? Are you kids? Don't are you put ready? the pressure on me. Mm-hmm. Are you ready? I'm okay. ready. Are you ready? Okay. Um, <laughs> how do you make a perfect peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Well, first... I'm, not talking about, I'm not talking about like good here. I'm not talking like great, like the ones your mom made that cut off the crust. No, I'm talking about like the perfect, like the the just absolutely, it's ambrosia of a PB and J. <laughs> well, first you start with pickles, and then mm-hmm. you move on to marmalade. And then throw a couple anchovies in there, uh, smother them with some mustard also. And then for whatever reason, you put five pieces of bread on each side, smush it together, and shove it into your gullet. 
That that's that's how I usually do it. I see. I yeah. see. <laughs> I think you're telling me a lie. You don't I, actually do that. I never. Corey lie. number one. <laughs> you're off the case. No. <laughs> Corey number eight. Oh boy, this is a lot of pressure. Um, <laughs> Give me an answer. <laughs> Who? Well, depends. Because I'm always in calorie counting mode, so my peanut butter and jelly sandwich is literally a piece of wheat bread with peanut butter on it. But if I had to make a perfect one, it would mm-hmm. be peanut butter and jelly with chocolate covered bacon, and we're gonna grill that son of a bitch like a a grilled cheese. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> I would eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Corey number A. You're safe. Uh, <laughs> Beaver! Yes. Um, How do you make a perfect <laughs> peanut <laughs> butter and jelly sandwich? <laughs> So this is why the episodes are 60 minutes long. <laughs> um, I think the best way to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is to not make it because that is probably my least favorite type of sandwich. Ding, 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 Viva! You are tonight's winner! Yes. Yeah! Great. Corey A, a second place. Whew. You get a... You get a you get a you get a bond for twenty dollars. That's nice. It. You can cash it in twenty years. Thanks. Yes, Viva for first place. You get a cash bond of twenty one dollars <laughs> that you can cash in in fifty years. And Corey Damn has that. Corey one has to pay for both of them. Yeah. Yay. Yes. It's coming out of your it's coming out of your paycheck here, Corey. It's okay. I can get I can get it on my uh, OnlyFans account. <laughs> there we go. Can I can I make so, a quick note? I promised Corey one that I would do this. <laughs> Dom from the Dom and Fro show has a sister who has an OnlyFans account, and I make sure to bring it up at every moment that I can. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Corey number A. You've just made my night. Oh, man. Thank- well, uh, if, if Dom ever listens to this, sorry, Dom. He won't. <laughs> he won't. <laughs> Maybe my mom will tell him. <laughs> is that a, is that a conversation you want to happen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's this OnlyFans my son was talking about, and why does your sister have one? <laughs> um. All right. Uh, I mean, there's not much else. Anything you guys want to plug right right here right now? Uh. Yeah. Definitely. Uh. Go check out the voice actors collaboration. Uh, when it releases, we don't have a concrete date set out for it yet, but when it's looking like we'll be close to, um, uploading it to new grounds, um, I'll update the, the forum thread. Um, but when it does release, please give it a lot of support. Um, cause like I said, we have a lot of very talented, um, amazing voice actors, a part of this collaboration and, and I am very fortunate that they even wanted to be a part of it. Um, and Fro coming on and helping out with writing has been a huge help. When I started this thing out, I only, I wrote maybe I think four or five scripts and then he submitted no slip canes and he tells me, uh, you know, uh, this, will, this will probably be the only one I submit. And then Next thing I know, he gives me five other scripts that have been hilarious and, you know, very. He's it's very generous. It has literally helped move this uh, this collaboration further than I actually thought it would go. So major props to the uh, our composers, um, Spadzer and uh, Mr. Snuggles, who want who came on to help out with some of the the tracks in the collaboration. So when this thing does drop, please make sure to give it the support. I feel it deserves um, and show new grounds, uh, voice actors, writers, and composers the love that they deserve. Very well put. Yeah. Corey A, Viva, anything to plug? Yeah, check you- out the collaboration. And <laughs> if anyone who's listening needs a voice actor who sounds like 
a variety of children or a variety of older people, but kind of still young sounding and a little bit annoying, please check out... Phoebe Best and Old People. <laughs> my personal <laughs> website, vivabecker.com, and everyone else, don't give up on your dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> let them be not dreams. Just do it! The opposite of dreams. <laughs> Nightmares. Wait, what? Nightmares. <laughs> All right, Corey, do you have anything to plug that isn't the Dom and Fro show? Well, uh, I do get a commission for Dom's sisters. Only fan- No, just joking. Um, <laughs> yeah, follow me on Twitter at the Coach Fro because Coach Fro was taken, not because I'm the official Coach Fro. And that's it. Sure you are. Yeah, sure. That's it. That's it. All right. I've run out of words in my dictionary, so I think it's time for us to end the episode. Good night, everybody. Thank you all. I've I've enjoyed speaking with you guys. It's really been a lot of fun. Especially, this is the first time I've spoken with a couple of you, so it's very nice. And uh, everyone out there in the world, have a have a have a safe night. Yeah. It's ten twenty three p.m. Do you know where your children are? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to the New Grounds podcast. This show is recorded live on our Discord server. Join us at bit.ly slash NGP Discord. Thank you to Waterflame for the use of his song, Gatherfly. Long live Newgrounds.